Hello, today we're talking about winter aconites, those lovely hardy little yellow plants you see shouldering their way up through crocuses and snowdrops in early spring. John's going to be showing you how he prepares the plants. He's also going to be giving you his best tips for planting out. At the end of the video, we're just going to be showing you where in the garden we're planting them because we've got little microclimates here, I'm sure you have in your garden too. So we're going to trial them to see which parts of the garden they do best in. Hello, welcome to John Horsey Horticulture. John's been teaching horticulture professionally for over 30 years now, and we run our own private gardening and garden history courses here in Somerset. On this channel, we're hoping to help you develop your gardening skills, whether you're new to gardening, looking for basic foundations on propagation techniques, a little bit of pest control, growing some home vegetables, or whether you're a seasoned horty who could always use new tips and advice. If you like learning those things, do consider following us by pushing the subscribe button. There's no charge. And don't forget to push the all important notification bell. It just lets you know every time we upload a new video. I've always liked winter aconites. I think they're just such lovely bright colours right in the middle of the winter when everything else is looking a bit dull. These little things come up rather with the snowdrops and they look lovely. I've had no luck at all growing them and uh, so I thought what I'd do now is, is to try uh, a, a trick. Get lots of them, put them all over the garden and see how they do and also try and get them growing in the green rather than putting in dry bulbs or rye tubers. So I sent off for some of these uh, a little while back and they arrived. I was expecting them to be something like this or growing away but they arrived There's lots of little tubers and uh, all shooting out and uh, of course when they arrived there's no way I could have planted them out because the ground was frozen. So what I did was I put them in the tray, put some compost over them, gave them a good water kept them in a, a, a very sunny place and of course they shot up and they've now shot up and they've got to this stage and I feel that now we've got a bit of a, a warm sunny spell we can try growing some of them out. So here they are they're ready to go um, they have rooted in quite well so I'm going to have to just go along the back and just or, or the sides of them just to sort of uh, loosen the roots from the edges of the of the tray. Yeah, loose along there and along here just to sort of loosen them up a bit and uh, then I shall try and get some out uh, en masse together so there we are that's I'm um, just loosening them like that now I'm hoping they're all going to come away so what I'm going to do is just try and take half of them out so I'm going to put my fork right down underneath there lift them away oh they look like they're coming there look that looks all right isn't it and they're all coming out in on mass like that. So here we are, we've got them all coming out like that. They <laughs> lovely little plants, aren't they? There's the, there's the flowers on them, there's a little shoot coming on for later on, and there's the tuber, all nice and moist. And there's the roots coming out and the new growth. There's a, there's a good bit of the tuber. That one's much, much smaller, you see, that one has a bit later. A much smaller plant, so I can't put that in the same depth as that one. Because when I want to plant them, I want to be planting them so that the the uh, the green is just above ground level, which is what I would assume they would be showing it in real life. So that one would have to go to a slightly different depth in order to get the green out of the soil right. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to grow them. I'm going to put them in clumps and see if they'll get better in clumps, because I actually bought a hundred of these, so there's plenty to go around. So I'm going to put them in little clumps of five and dot them around the garden. So I'm just, just tidying them up like that, put them like that. I put them into a, into a tray where I can take them around. <clears throat> and so there we are, we'll pick up five of here. And then we'll go around and plant them all. You know, I've gone over five there, haven't I? One, two, three, four, five. I'm trying to to clump them up without damaging the roots. They don't seem to put an awful lot of root growth on, so um, hopefully you won't damage them too much. Look at that one though, there you've got one little tuber, three flowers on it. So are the clumps of five because uh, that's what you like? You yeah, could well, I'm just thinking that they, they, they often do better in clumps, these things. If you put, if you put snowdrops in in clumps, they, they do better in clumps than they do in singles. They get established quicker, so that's my reasoning. Um, and we'll just see how it goes. So here we are. We've got our got our little 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 plants. I'm going to just take them out in in clumps of about five. There's 
just I think they might do better in clumps we'll we'll, we'll see but there's a nice little clump um, I want to try and get them so that they're the, the pale bit is underground as it should be and the um, not the green bit is, is is just above ground so it might need just to sort of um, adjust them a little bit to get the right sort of level then a decent hole um, these, these are almost some crocuses so they might do all right so I'm going to put them right down get a nice big hole then get your level right then you can just put the soil back around them like that and that, that these are growing and this is a quite a sunny spot so we'll we'll try it here I'll put a couple in here because I've got quite a lot to go put that one down against the wall see if that's any better and again take them out try and get the levels more or less right and put them in little clumps that's a small one so we'll have to go a bit higher up than the others um, there we are, that can go in there, so again, I put, put them against the edge of the pot, pond, pot hole, sorry, push the stuff back around them, and then put them around, put that around. Now, what I'm going to do with these is just try a little bit of garden ash, most bulbs seem to appreciate garden ash, so this is, this is um, ash from, from the fire, it's, it's a wood burning fire, as it's only had proper logs on it you wouldn't use it if you'd been using things like coal or any or burning any any sort of synthetic wood you know chipboard or anything like that so you want to make sure it's just 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 ash just potash and I'm just going to scatter that around there it'll soon wash down and I'm going to put a bit around each of these I shall be putting this around all my snowdrops later on anyway, just just to scatter it around now what I'm also going to do um, because these are bulbs and because in a couple of months time they'll be gone completely I don't want to dig them up when I come to uh, you know I don't have a plant to plant I'll come out here and I think oh it's a nice hole I'll put them in there and I've forgotten all about them so what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of gravel uh, this is actually loose gravel around here so that when I come to dig in the future I will see I've planted something there so that will stay there even when the plant's gone and it's a very good way to remember where your bulbs are just like that now good watering in a moment To be on the safe side I'm going to plant the these are these are fairly good sunshine here I'm going to put some in the shade over there I'm going to put some in slightly different positions like part shade some under other plants I've got quite a lot of them so I'm going to put them everywhere and hopefully we'll get some successes and we'll check back next year and see what happens well thanks so much for joining us here in Somerset today, we very much enjoyed having you, we love our winter aconites. If you enjoyed that do consider following us by pushing the subscribe button, there's no charge. Don't forget to ding the notification bell, it lets you know every time we upload a new video. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your week, until next time.